During Black History Month, take a minute and study how this tool works. It can help you as you're photographing people that don't look like you, make sure they look and feel their best. It's called masking. It's this incredible secret weapon that allows you to digitally change the lighting on your subject or change the saturation on your background. Basically be very, very precise in your edits. So what is masking? Well, think of it this way. Right now, I'm in a photo studio filming and I have a light on me and a light from outside. So light from outside is lighting everything equally. And I have a light that's on me, but let's say I got rid of it. Now I'd be lit just by what's around me. And sometimes when you're photographing skin tones, you have to be very, very careful to make sure that you're lighting your subject and background differently. So with the masking tool, I can turn this light back on. And now I have a dedicated source to make sure the exposure on my skin is what it should be. The masking tool is amazing. You can use your cursor, your mouse, um, a digital pencil or crayon, even your finger on your phone, on your tablet, or your desktop. It allows you to precisely select through AI tools or through your own selections or through gradients exactly what you want to edit and change it. The magic for skin tones is it can help us make sure we're getting the right detail in our hair. Make sure that our skin looks as it should. So if you take a test image of a subject and then you have your final image, you edit it, and you realize it's too contrasty, or maybe um, someone's skin's looking too orange, you can use the masking tool to bring the saturation down. You can change the color mix, or you could just simply change your highlights or shadows to make sure that we're looking exactly as we should. That's the masking tool. Try it out.